Not fast enough and sharp as a pack in the middle. Call in the play. He steps up to Brissett. Quick toss and a ball jarred out by Deku. Can he keep it in play? Cannot. Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Session. As we take a deeper look at Tristan Deku, first and foremost, he's six foot two, about 206 pounds. To me personally, he's like a slower corner, so they put him at safety position. Uh, if you look at his skill set, he can track to the ball pretty well. Uh, one of the, the reservations that you will have is with his foot speed and as well as his lack of range and his, his skill play. He played on the ball well on this play. He was able to jar the ball out. That's perfect right here off of this uh, drive right here. Remember, uh, fighting towards the ball is a plus. You have to be able to just fight towards those hands, especially when you're being beat on this route. You still have that chance, and he had those long length with those arms to get that ball out. That's what I like to see out of his skill set. Aggressive hitter too as well. Uh, on this play, he had problems tracking the ball, didn't get his head around, but still was able to block that pass off. And now as we see, he gives him a free release off of this play. Going stride for stride and he was getting the separation, the uh, the opposition. He didn't get his head around to the ball. We would like for him to, uh, now with the Chris Richard system, we know that Chris is going to teach him to be a little bit physical on his line and actually uh, pay attention to what the receiver is trying to give. Remember, this game is about chess, not checkers. Understanding and learning that part of the game. All right, so he got to get his head around to the ball. The key indicator when you're playing defensive back on this play right here is, is look at the actual receiver. And when he stops and slows down on his route, you may turn around then and fight towards the ball or at least wipe the hands away. Now, the, the officials didn't call that play, uh, and it's just one of those things that sometimes you can slide under the radar. But, you know, you would like for him to get his head around. And those small techniques right there, he will learn eventually, and especially on this next level. Now, they have him uh, playing like on the Texans. They had him playing cornerback. Uh, maybe, you know, uh, with, this, with this type of skill set, him playing so far off, he don't have the best hips in the world not elusive at all uh, so hopefully with a new technique new system we can teach him to play a little closer on the line use that physical size that he have is uh, Tristan a true tackler out in space I would say yes uh, he, he's still raw in a lot of aspects I, I like this player ability to come down and crash down on players and, and I like a sure tackler especially playing a safety position I, I think that with a little um, uh, tooling here and there will help him out tremendously I, I don't know I wouldn't play him outside single uh, at all at playing a cornerback he still need help in, in, in those fashions there hopefully and I mean hopefully uh, Chris Richard can uh, help him grow in those factors or you know he can pick up some nuances and techniques to help him out overall this is the thing we know that he may or may not even uh, get a chance to play at all with the Cowboys as uh, far as starting. But he's one of those guys that you know for sure you can develop, shift, and mold into being something out there. And just let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on this Tristan Deku? Let me know as we look back at everything. I, I think that with Chris Richard and, and with the Dallas Cowboys, what they're trying to do co collectively is to get these guys with size. And when you have size, I think that the coaching staff believe and have faith and understanding that they can elevate the rest. Technique is one thing and skill set is another. And I think that if with the uh, coaching staff, with Chris Richard, is what he's seeing out of these guys is saying, give me time. Give me time to develop this guy, and then hopefully we can see what can uh, transpire from there. That's all the time I have for right now. I really thank you for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. I'm out. Peace.